Hey guys, what is up? I'm so excited to be back. I know I took a little break for ah, about a week. Um, my eyes have been freaking out again. What else is new? It's fine, right? Um, but I'm really excited to show you guys how I got this look today. Uh, I used all perfect face products and with a couple add-ons here and there. Um, but I just used a really pretty, and I'm trying to find it right now, really pretty eye shimmer pigment from the perfect face and it's in gunmetal. I usually don't use blues or a lot of cool tones just with my skin coloring and my eye color, but I actually really, really like this color and I think it looks really pretty um, for a nice sultry look. This is of course not an everyday look. If you want to know how I got this look, please stick around and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want to see so I will see you in a second I'm gonna be doing a perfect face video today so I'm going to pull up my hair up you like my donut shirt <laughs> I literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago so sorry for any um bumps or not bumps um bags I have under my eyes fine. I prepped and primed my face and I moisturized and I'm going to be going in with a perfect face um, Y6 foundation today because I am pale as heck right now and I'm looking for my brush and I'm going to go in with a Morphe brush and I'm going to I'm going to go for a natural look today. That's a joke. Oh, this Y6 actually matches me really well right now. I'm so pale. Okay. Now that I have kind of covered up everything, I am gonna, my hair just, it was looking cute before. Why don't it look cute now? <sighs> Bless the bags underneath my eyes. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna go in with my damn beauty blender like normal and just kind of Make sure that's all really nicely put into the skin. And now I'm going to go in with my P2 concealer from the Perfect Face. Actually, I need, I need a tad more. I got some bags this morning. <laughs> and... I'm just putting this on in like a padding motion rather than streaking it down my my face. Okay, now that I am completely Padded in. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and then this is Honey Pot Perfect Face Powder. Make sure there's no. Do you see, see those bags? That's awful. Bless. And I'm just gonna go in and bake it. I'm actually gonna go in with a little cream puff over top because I'm feeling a little pale today. Cream puff is like white, and then honey pot is like cream. And I'm gonna actually mix a little bit of honey pot and then a little bit of almond tart together for my full face. I feel like, never mind, I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. gonna go over my eyelids and set those we are all done with brows this one might be a little darker but you know they're sisters not twins you know how sometimes you just keep playing with your brows then all of a sudden they're like this long this just crazy looking 
That's how mine are about to be if I don't stop messing with them. They're done now. Next, I'm going to go in with the Perfect Face. Um, hmm, what color is this? Macchiato, which is really pretty brown. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This brush is from Morphe. I've been really impressed with Morphe's brushes, actually. Ooh. Once that is all over my lid, I'm actually going to go into this makeup um, revolution. It's an affirmation palette. I can't remember if I've done a video on this or not. But anyway, I'm going to use the um, Perfect Face um, eye light in gunmetal, which is a really pretty blue, but I don't have a perfect face, um, eyeshadow with me that actually would go really well with that. So I'm going to dive into this palette and get some of these colors real quick before I add that on. Um, I'm going to go into like a really pretty, like gray blue tone right here. I'm just kind of work that in to my crease with my Perfect Face brush. Now I'm gonna go back in with this brush and kinda, actually I'm gonna go back in with Macchiato as well. Kinda blend that out. I don't want to go in with a dirty blush, but I like this brush, so I'm just kind of cleaning that off, going back in with Macchiato. And then I'm not going, I'm going a little above it, but I'm kind of going right on the edge of that and just buffing that out. Just going in with a little brush like this, like a flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm just kind of tapping the color where some of it got too blended away. Then I'm going to go back in and blend it out. I'm going to go in with the same brush. That's not my gunmetal. Go in with my gunmetal. I don't want it to tip over. And then I'm going to just one pump of that. Um, that was rose water. Gosh, look at that. So pretty. And then, oh, that is so pretty. I've been really focusing for the past few minutes. Um, so I just kind of blended all of that out and then I took um, the same color that I've been using in my crease from the Makeup Revolution palette and just kind of putting that ever so lightly on my bottom lead, or bottom, I can't talk, the bottom um, as bottom liner. And then I'm gonna take this brush one more time and that has the gunmetal. Actually, it's going to be really thick for my little eye. I'm going to take that brush and then take the gunmetal and put it in the center. You know what? We're just going to line the whole thing. It's fine. It's so like out of the box for me because anybody that knows me fairly well, especially, especially makeup wise, knows that like I don't wear blue eyeshadow or any really cool colors, but I really, really like this gun metal and I've been afraid of it because it's just so different for me, but that's such a pretty eye and once I actually have the rest of my face done, I feel like it'll look that much better, but that's pretty. I'm, what am I looking for? Oh, okay, so next I'm going to go back in with a little brush like this and then going back in with that macchiato brown color. 
and now I'm gonna go in with cream puff from the perfect face it's just a really pretty cream color I've used it a billion times before and I'm gonna just go over next I'm gonna go into my perfect face palette that I kind of made myself I just depotted all of them um, I'm gonna go into sugar and spice I just dipped my finger into it that makes me want to cry wow bless my heart can we just fix this hair real fast I mean <laughs> Dad, what you doing honey you know when you're trying to do like a messy cute pony and then you just can't do it yeah it's fine me right now um I'm going into beach baby and since my eyes are so much <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of go light with everything else I say that now but and then I'm gonna go into cheeky as well what is this like Now I'm going to go in with Fairy Tale, which is the highlight. And you can't even see it because it's just but it's just really pretty pale pink. And I've gotten so many compliments on this because in person, like in actual daylight, it is just the ever so light, like very subtle beautiful pink highlight um it's for girls who or for a look that um you don't necessarily want a ton of highlight or like this big streak on your face like in the video it looks a little bit more dramatic but in real life it's just really really subtle and pretty um definitely more for like everyday look if you just want to add a pop of highlight but you're not trying to like blind people a good highlight for that. And I need to find my ha ah, da, da 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 Why can't I? It's over here because I cleaned it. It's fine. Okay, now that I've done my top liner, I'm actually going to go fill in my waterline. You know, let's just really get in there. Why not? I love me some gel liner. Let me tell you what. I'm going to go into the medium contour from the perfect face. Chisel up my cheekbones. Wow. I mean, why? Like, I just feel like my arms can look so small and then all of a sudden they're huge. Like, we'll edit that out. Let's contour my face. Can I contour my arms? Like, that's all muscle, right, guys? That's just a little. It's fine. And then there goes my hair again. I swear half of makeup routines are literally just blending the crap out of your face. I mean, seriously. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. I've applied this 10 minutes ago, but <laughs> I'm still blending. But I'm gonna put my favorite sex on heels. Literally going back and forth between Beach Baby and Slumber Party. See that? Wow, that really actually made a difference. And I'm done. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's a different look for me for like every day. And I, the funny thing is I literally have nothing going on today. I'm hanging out. So this is a very sultry look for <laughs> running errands and going to Walmart, but you know, hope the people of Walmart will really enjoy this look. <laughs> I'm literally laughing at myself at the camera right now. I'm alone in my house. It's, it's fine. I can't even talk. I feel like I can never, I'm just going to stop this actually while I'm ahead. Okay, I'm done. I'm really done this time. I'm really done. I'm like playing with the beauty blender like I'm plotting something. And this is, oh wait, what is it? And for this reason. <laughs>